This is my review of the Barnes & Noble Nook Color. Uh, it was a loaner uh, from the library system that my wife works at. They're going to start loaning these out to patrons, so they want the librarians to familiarize themselves with them. So it means I get to look it over and uh, make any recommendations for them to her, and uh, she goes back and looks really smart. Okay, the general specs on the Nook Color here are it is 8.1 inches high, has a width of 5 inches, has a depth of 0.48 inches, and it weighs roughly 15.8 ounces. And if you round that up, it's pretty close to a pound. Uh, so, you know, it is a heftier ebook reader. Uh, okay, so we'll give you a general tour here. Uh, we'll start with this little charm thing. I don't know why it's there. It kind of serves no purpose. Uh, okay, move along to the left-hand side is the power switch uh, at the top right here. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So it's like a standard headphone. You use that, you plug in, you'll hear stuff. Um, volume rockers. So there's up and down uh, because this does actually have a speaker on the back here uh, for playing audiobooks and or uh, music apps. This thing does come with Pandora. Uh, <clears throat> it has a 7 inch screen that is 1024 by 600 and it is a 169 pixel per inch resolution. Uh, so let's see what else we have. Uh, it is a Wi-Fi device only. So this thing does not come with 3G at all. You're looking at Wi-Fi 802.11 BG and N. Uh, okay, we'll power this uh, device on here. So your standard slide to unlock. Uh, because it is a glossy screen, it does tend to get uh, very fingerprint all over it. All right, this device is primar primarily an e-reader, so we'll start by using uh, those things to go over. Um, I did forget to mention uh, that it does have an expandable SD card slot. That Actually, it's an expandable micro SD card slot that's hidden here by the charm thing uh, held down with a little magnet. It does come with uh, 8 gigs of uh, internal storage. Six of that is usable for content, and then 5 gigs is said to be reserved for Barnes & Noble's content. So it has a special area just for Barnes & Noble's content. And using the micro SD card slot, it says it's expandable to 32 gigs of storage. So back to the actual e-reading aspect of this device. Uh, you got a couple ways that you can go and uh, get to your your book. Uh, you can either have it down here. This is one that was put to the toolbar, or you have Barnes and Noble's content, which will generally be up on this page here if you set it up that way. If not, you hit the little U, or I should say the upside down U, and you go to library. Now here you have books, magazines, newspapers, apps, kids, and my folder, or my stuff. Uh, Barnes & Noble's books will show up on the books area. Uh, same for magazines and newspapers. We'll skip the apps for the time being. If you download something, uh, preferably because this is a loaner from the library, uh, if you download something, it will show up in my stuff. You have choices where it can be under my shelves. This is a particular book that my wife downloaded to test. You have my files. This will be anything that you download to the device, apps, uh, PDF files, things of that nature. Also, the book will show up here again. Uh, there's Lend Me and the Archive, which we won't get into right now. Uh, there's also, if you're in the middle of reading the book, it will show up down here as you're reading it, and you can access this from any screen. So if I'm on the home screen, home screen, you can still see that that little book icon is there. And if I click on it, it will bring me into the text that where you left off, where you had bookmarked it. Uh, now, there are several things that you can do. Again, this is a LCD backlit e-reader, so it's not an e-ink uh, 
screen. So it's the equivalent of looking at a computer screen. Uh, they do have options if you click here, push and hold. It's not actually what I wanted it to do, but we'll go down here and do it. Okay. Here we have several options for what we can do. Um, you have where you are in the book, how many pages it is. Uh, here we have content. So here are all the content. So these are your chapters. If you've highlighted anything in notes and the bookmarks for the particular book itself. And since I did that, I'm going to show you another thing. Uh, here, we have a person's name. If we click and hold on it, of course, it's not gonna do it the way I wanted to do. There we go. Uh, brings up the little sub menu here, which you can, again, you can highlight it, you can make a note on it, you can look it up or you can find it. Now, if you look it up, it's gonna look up the meaning of the word based on a Webster's dictionary that's built into this device. If you hit find, what it will do is it will search the entire book and show you any recurrences of that particular name. So here we, we jump to a bookmarked spot uh, based on we were looking for something. Uh, I'm going to use this guy here and going to select look up. And here we have the, Mary, uh, the Webster's Dictionary uh, for what that particular word meant. Since I'm at a precarious angle, I'm not really sure what I clicked on to find out what the definition was. Uh, okay, so again, more options that you have. You have text sizes based on if you are like me and are slowly going blind from staring at a computer screen all day, you can make it really, really big or very small. Uh, they, they have that medium setting, which is kind of nice. It's about normal. Uh, you have choices of fonts that you can use. Uh, this thing here, the, the theme setting, uh, this is probably most useful. Right now it's on day. If I put it to night, what it does is it blacks out the background and turns the text white. Now, this, if you've seen any websites that have a black background with white text, you know that your eyes are going to start hurting after a while. So uh, if you're going to be reading this at night, especially, uh, the gray kind of is a little better, a little easier on your eyes. I mean, there are a whole bunch of choices. Um, here you have margins. So based on how far you want the text close to the edge here, uh, as well as line spacing, you can have double, triple, or just All right. And uh, you have a publisher setting. Uh, by default, you can have it on or off. So based on how the publisher wants you to read the book, uh, you turn that on, it'll set it so it's nice and pretty and the way the publisher wants you to see it. Uh, up here, this icon is actually a bookmark. So you push it and it'll create a bookmark for the page that you're on. Uh, I yet again forgot to mention that this device does have an accelerometer. So if you turn it sideways, there we go it will turn your text sideways and back. Never have luck with the accelerometer. It never seems to like me. Okay, so we will go back to the home screen here. Uh, again, you have three different pages of a desktop that you can do and trying to do this from behind the camera and tripod is kind of difficult. Um, so those are your desktops. Down here you have content, uh, Based toolbar uh, does have Pandora, as I do believe I mentioned earlier. It uh, will sound fairly tinny on the uh, speaker that comes with. I'm, I'm not going to play anything uh, just because I don't want to get sued because of copyright infringement, even with fair use. Uh, but you know, audio files will find it to be lackluster. Um, pretty much everybody else. It's a speaker, you hear it, you'll be okay. If you do play Pandora, it actually put it down in the corner here where the book is as well. And you can listen to the radio while you are reading a book or doing something else. Now keep in mind also, you do need a Wi-Fi signal because this is not a 3G device. Uh, now, if you wanted to, down here on the toolbar, you can click and drag and drop these up into the desktop area if you wanted to and kind of place them wherever you wanted. I'm gonna put that back on the toolbar. And we're going to hit the U to bring up uh, 
See, we covered home, which is that desktop area. We did the libraries because that's where we saw the book originally. Uh, next would be the shopping, but this is where you can actually shop for books, magazines, newspapers, stuff for the kids, apps, and music and videos. Uh, I'm not going to do that because this is a loaner device and I don't want uh, to put stuff on here. All right, uh, search, this is searching the device. Uh, this is the book that uh, my wife put on here. Okay, so we're going to go to the apps now. Uh, again, apps, you can shop for them, put them on uh, from a plethora of services. Just keep in mind, uh, if you're going to use something like the Google Play Store to put something on here, uh, you will need to have the device registered to your account. So that's your name at gmail.com. All right. It does come with a web browser, which is a nice little uh, extra because this is not just for ebooks. It is a tablet PC altogether. Uh, so and I'll do a search so you can see the keyboard that pops up. And check how responsive it is. And here you can see it's auto completing, so we'll say no color. And the Wi Fi signal I'm working off of right now is not particularly good, but here you can see it is the web in, in micro form. Um, okay, you have bookmarks. Uh, you have this little option up here, so bookmarks option. Click on this. This brings up your options just for the web itself. If it would play nicely. Go back to the main page here, see if it uh, allows me to do it. Come on. Scroll to the top. Okay, so you have options for the web browser itself up here. New window bookmarks, windows, refresh, forward, more options. Uh, come on. So more options gets you to add bookmarks, find page, page info, downloads, and settings. Uh, especially if with this device, since it's a borrowed device from the library, you're going to want to go through all of the settings here, uh, especially down here for the security settings and privacy settings, you know, clear the history, clear the cookies, things of that nature. Uh, all right, so that, that's your general browser settings. I'm gonna go back down here and we're going to go for settings for the device itself. Uh, you have device info, wireless info, screen, which will allow you to change the brightness. Uh, so here you have auto rotate brightness and screen timeout, so that's when it blinks off. Uh, the brightness is adjustable. All right, and down here you have app settings, which is home, shop, shop social, reader. Uh, if you select home, you can choose your background, all sorts of other options, and I'm trying to read this at a weird angle, so I'm not going to attempt to. Go back to the home page here. Uh, yeah, come on, back to the home page. All right. Uh, all in all, it's a nice little device for e-reading and, and messing around on the web. Uh, if you get it from Barnes & Nobles, it's uh, listed at being $149 right now. On Amazon, it's about $169. So, yeah, actually cheaper to go for Barnes & Nobles. Uh, I'll list all of the, the, ex, um, the compatible um, book formats uh, in the show notes because it's just, there's a lot of them, as well as the audio uh, compatibilities down in the show notes. Just keep in mind, you won't be able to play or read Amazon uh, stuff on here because you are being locked into the Barnes & Noble's uh, ecosystem. Uh, so if you're okay with that, uh, it's a nice little thing. If you've got the money and, and want to have a singular device to hold a lot of books. Uh, hang on, what do they say? Up to 5,000 books based on just the internal storage alone. Um, so... Yep, keep reading.